Good morning, welcome back to the channel. I believe summer has arrived this week. Anyway, we've got a very busy week spraying. Uh, all the T2s are going on the winter wheat and winter barleys. Uh, so that's what I'm busy doing at the minute, putting them on. Uh, George is going ploughing wild bird cover plots and then it, he's going to go drill them later on in the week. And uh, he's off to a bit of rolling. Um, Derek's out the country park, topping thistles in the paddock so we can get them sprayed off. So, uh, yep. Yeah. We're going to have a busy week this week. Uh, oh, some corn going out as well, so uh, that's uh, yeah, a very busy week. Oh, you John Deere fans out there, loads of them here. I've got the Gator at the minute, and I have the deluxe version. As you may see, I have no uh, cab door. It's got air conditioning. You don't get many with air conditioning on. Yeah, what a beast. 8 RX 370. Just in the spring barley at Elsham this morning, where we ripped the oilseed rape up, We're just giving it uh, a small amount of nitrogen just to get it going. But uh, yeah, it's looking extremely well. Say it's after oil ripped up oilseed rape, and uh, it's all growing. There's nothing dying off. Yeah, looking very even. So we're just giving it. Uh, the 150 kilograms of nitrogen to set it off. But yeah, very pleasing. Say that uh, people said after Astrocurbia it, uh, it won't be, grow very well. We'll have a look at the uh, direct drill field uh, when I get to it. Right, we're in uh, what we call pit field, and this is the field what was ripped up from rape and drilled with spring barley, but it was drilled with that Sky Easy drill, direct drill, straight into the uh, stale seed bed, what rape was drilled into. So, um, yeah, and it's come well, it's looking well. But this is the best part of the field on the, on the hilltop. We'll go a bit further down and I'll uh, show you it on the hillside where it's real khaki land. This is on the steeper part of the slope where it was a bit sticky. Um, yeah, it's got a bit of yellowing on the leaves. Now, whether this is uh, a bit of uptake, chemical uptake from uh, the Astra curb on the rape because we didn't move this land and you meant to invert it or thoroughly mix it before drilling. If you've used a uh, curb or Astra curb, but, uh, yeah, the direct drilling's come well, even into the wheelings. Looks good. That bit was a particularly wet run, just there. George has been busy this last day or two, ploughing uh, wild bird cover plots which uh, he will be drilling very shortly.
right or leaders. Yeah, George has gone off to Elsham to roll some spring barley in after the failed oilseed rape crop. And just give it a firm it up a bit and there's a few bold, well, boulder stones and rocks about. And uh, it'll just stop them uh, going into the combine, hopefully. the fly tippers are back this is at the end of the farm we've had a gate chained across and i thought the gate had been left open but uh, no they pulled the post out or it's rotted they've rammed it yeah they rammed it and snapped it off locks intact well would you believe it looks like somebody's been uh, clearing the fire up. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Video Diary on the Farm. I hope you enjoyed the content. We've had a busy week uh, getting all the T2s on, the uh, wheat and barley, which is all done now, and um, yeah, the ploughing of the uh, bird covers the wild bird covers and yeah i'm including the uh, drilling of them into uh, next week's video so yeah uh, we, thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you next time oh and don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe if you enjoyed it and uh, remember it's free to subscribe <laughs>